hello viewers in today's class we are uh, going to discuss yet another important and a uh, very conceptual problem from uh, definite integrals involving greatest integer function right so viewers uh, in mathematics the greatest integer function plays a very uh, vital role and uh, here uh, we have uh, this problem uh, we have to uh, find the value of this definite integral from 0 to 1 and here we have the greatest integer of 2x square plus 3 right so let us start and let us first call this integral as i right now viewers uh, this problem can also be solved by directly using the uh, properties of greatest integer function but here i uh, will prefer uh, the substitution method right so what we will do uh, let us take uh, y is equal to uh, 2x square plus 3 right so when y is equal to 2x square plus 3 then obviously uh, 2x square is equal to y minus 3 and x square is uh, y minus 3 over 2 and x can be uh, written as a square root of y minus 3 over right okay and now uh, let us find uh, the derivative of y uh, with respect to x so we have dy over dx is equal to uh, 4x right because the derivative of x square is 2x so we have 4x and the derivative of 3 is 0 uh, being the constant function right so now uh, we can take this value of x uh, over here so now we have 4 times of uh, square root of y minus 3 over 2 right so this can also be written as 4 over square root of 2 and square root of y minus 3 right so now we can uh, write uh, dx as square root of 2 over 4 and uh, we have uh, uh, here a square root of y minus 3 and here we have dy right so now uh, we have expressed dx in terms of uh, y and here we have x in terms of y and now uh, let us change the uh, limits right so here uh, x varies from 0 to 1 so when x is 0 then the value of y can be calculated from this expression so we have y is equal to 2 times uh, 0 square plus 3 that is equal to 3 right and when x is 1 we have y is equal to uh, 2 times uh, 1 square plus 3 and this is 2 plus 3 that is 5 so it implies that when x varies from 0 to 1 then y varies from 3 to 5 right so now uh, let us express this uh, integral i in terms of uh, y right so we have the integral from 3 to 5 and uh, for the greatest integer of 2x square plus 3 uh, we have here uh, greatest integer of y because 2x square plus 3 is y right and for dx uh, we can write square root of 2 over 4 and here we have a square root of y minus 3 dy right now root 2 and 4 are the constants so we can uh, take them uh, outside the integral so we have root 2 over 4 and the integral is from 3 to 5 greatest integer of y and uh, here we have square root of y minus uh, 3 and dy right now we can take this square root of y minus 3 in the numerator so we can write it as square root of 2 over 4 and 3 to 5 and uh, here we have y minus 3 raised to minus half and here we have greatest integer of y dy right so now we have to uh, solve uh, this integral now here uh, we see that uh, the uh, limits 
uh, varies from 3 to 5 so here we have 3 and 5 is somewhere here and uh, between uh, 3 and 5 uh, the integer uh, 4 is there right so now what we will do uh, we have to integrate from 3 to 5 so we'll break this uh, this integral as a sum of two integrals right so we can write it like this square root of 2 over 4 and we have i1 plus i2 right and i1 is from uh, 3 to 4 and i2 is from 4 to 5 right so we can write root 2 over 4 and the first integral is from 3 to 4 and we have y minus 3 raised to minus half greatest integer of uh, y uh, dy plus i2 is from uh, 4 to 5 so here we have 4 here we have 5 then we have y minus 3 raised to minus half and greatest integer of y dy right so now viewers uh, uh, at this step we have to uh, make use of uh, the uh, properties of uh, greatest integer function that is here uh, see uh, y varies from uh, 3 uh, to 4 right and when uh, y lies between 3 and 4 then obviously by the definition of greatest integer function uh, the value of greatest integer of uh, uh, y is equal to 3 right because if we have y is equal to say 3.1 uh, then the value of greatest integer of 3.1 is 3 right and similarly here um, y varies from uh, 4 to 5 right and uh, again uh, by virtue of the definition of greatest integer function the value of greatest integer of y is 4 and again uh, we can uh, uh, we can say that uh, uh, if y is say uh, 4.6 right see uh, 4.6 lies between 4 and 5 and the value of greatest integer of 4.6 uh, is 4 right so now uh, here uh, the greatest integer of uh, y is uh, 3 and here the greatest integer of y is 4 right so now we can write uh, this integral i as uh, uh, we have a square root of 2 over 4 and we have uh, 3 to 4 y minus 3 raised to minus half and here we have 3 uh, dy and then we have 4 to 5 y minus 3 raised to minus half and here we have 4 right so now uh, we can uh, write uh, this expression as root 2 over 4 and we can take 3 outside we have 3 to 4 y minus 3 raised to minus half and here we have dy and here we can take 4 and this is 4 to 5 y minus 3 raised to minus half dy right now we have uh, a very simple integral here and here and we can uh, solve it easily so now uh, we can write i is equal to square root of 2 over 4 and we have here 3 and see the integral of uh, y minus 3 raised to minus half is uh, 2 times uh, square root of y minus 3 and the limits of integration are from 3 to 4 and uh, here we have 4 and uh, the integral of y minus 3 raised to minus half is 2 times square root of y minus 3 and uh, limits are from 4 to 5 right so let us see how we have got the integral of this see we have the integral of y minus 3 raised to minus half uh, dy and if we take say t is equal to y minus 3 then dt is equal to dy so we have integral y minus 3 is t 
so we have t raised to minus half uh, dt right for dy we have dt right and uh, we can use this result that is t raised to n dt is equal to t raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 and uh, where n is not equal to minus 1 so here we have t raised to minus half plus 1 and minus half plus 1 this is t raised to half because 1 minus half is half and here we have half and we can take 2 uh, to the numerator so we have 2 times t raised to half and this is uh, 2 times uh, t is uh, y minus 3 so we have y minus 3 raised to half so this is how uh, we got these two integrals so now we can write i as a square root of 2 over 4 and uh, here we can take 2 outside so we have uh, 6 and square root of y minus 3 limits are from 3 to 4 and here we can take 2 outside so we have 8 here and uh, square root of y minus 3 and limits are from 4 to 5 right so now we have root 2 over 4 and uh, this is 6 and now uh, we will take uh, y is 4 so 4 minus 3 is 1 so square root of 1 is 1 minus we will take 3 3 minus 3 is 0 so here we have 0 right and uh, here uh, we will take y is equal to 5 so 5 minus 3 is 2 so here we have a square root of 2 minus we'll have 4 minus 3 1 the square root of 1 is 1 and uh, this is how we got this expression right so now this is root 2 over 4 and we have 6 ones are 6 and here we have 8 root 2 uh, minus 8 and, uh, and now we can simplify it root 2 over 4 and uh, this is 8 root 2 and 6 minus 8 is minus 2 right and now if we uh, multiply these two terms by root 2 over 4 uh, we'll get 8 times root 2 times root 2 is 2 and uh, we have 4 minus uh, we'll have 2 root 2 over 4 right and this is uh, uh, 4 to the uh, 8 so we have 4 minus here we have 2 and this is root 2 over 2 right now we can uh, rationalize here so we have 4 minus root 2 over 2 times root 2 over root 2 and uh, i is now uh, 4 minus uh, root 2 times root 2 is 2 we have 2 over 2 root 2 2 and 2 get cancelled so we have 4 minus 1 over uh, root 2 right so now uh, i can also be written as uh, here we have 4 minus 1 over root 2 so we can also write it as 4 root 2 minus 1 over root 2 right so viewers uh, the value of uh, this uh, important uh, definite integral involving greatest integer function is given by 4 root 2 minus 1 over square root of 2 right so this is how uh, we solve this integral